What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Let's Be Real. On my dress, on my left, I have Alex. Yeah, man. Today's topic is going to be covering the NBA. We're going to just do like a quick overview because, you know, it's been like a few weeks since we posted a video. But yeah, let's jump into it, man. All right, y'all. Let's be real. Let's be real. Now, let's see. I'm surprised that they're still in first place this late in the season. I mean, and just the whole West is stacked. I mean, the only team that's really out of the playoffs is the Suns. But everyone else has a fair chance. What do you think? You have one, two, three, four. Five teams mm -hmm. that are not in the pool. Like at the season end of the yeah, day, they're in the playoff. They were in the playoff last year. Exactly. And it's crazy. These are all these great teams. Memphis, I mean, Memphis will break on you. Sacramento, I'm shocked that. I didn't think they were ready yet. But for Denver to be first place 20 and 9, it's pretty damn good. But I just don't see them when it comes to the playoff, they're just going to choke. Just because they don't have if the season ends today and the Denver are quarter, I think one will be going seven. Okay. Maybe six. six. Don't want to say five or four because, you know, Denver is going to push it. They're hungry. But uh, I think Portland will beat them just because of the experience. Damian Lillard doesn't want to be eliminated in the first round again. Two yeah. years in a row. Especially the I think if he does get eliminated, I think he's going to be surprised if we would to the trade. I mean, he's, he says he's going to be loyal to the team. He wants to be a trailblazer forever. But before we finish on uh, Denver, you know Denver has held 12 teams under 100 points. So I feel like their defense could, you know, catapult them deep into the playoffs. What do you think? I don't think they'll last long in the playoffs. No? Okay. I, mean, I just don't see it. It's Denver, I just feel like they're going to choke. They don't have nobody that can. Yeah, like a, like a strong finisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Paul George and like that, that you know? Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-three and nine, Milwaukee nineteen and nine. There's, there's a lot of good teams. They're pretty stacked too. I don't see Toronto doing too well in the just because their number two guy, Kawhi Leonard, hasn't shown up in the playoffs in the last three years. Every single time at this great time of the season, everybody's like, "Watch out for Toronto." Exactly, Watch exactly. He says, "Watch out for Toronto." This Kyle Lowry, you know, he's gonna perform different. I hope so. I want to see Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry yeah, yeah. shows up. I still see the Celtics. In the finals. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, they're the most well rounded team. I mean, their bench is pretty nasty. Probably the best in the East. Exactly, yeah. That just spread on the fact that the Celtics, you know, they were on an eight game winning streak after they changed the lineup. Mm -hmm. With Marcus Smart coming in, because we have our starting five offense that are pretty good shooters, and uh, we still have a bench. I mean, even the bench could be a starting five. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's a pretty solid bench. Yeah, that's, that's, that's plenty yeah, of fun, yeah. but I just, I see them finish top three. Yeah, I can, I can be with you with that one. I mean, and the fact that they have Jason Tatum, you know, he has that playoff experience. Uh, he's 20 years old. Oh, uh, okay. He's <laughs> 20 years old. Yeah, he's only 20 years old. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to uh, DeAndre Jordan and Russell Westbrook. DeAndre Jordan is shooting 75% from the last time I said 75% Who? from the free throw line. Who? DeAndre Jordan. The, the uh, center? The, the <laughs> oh, let's yeah, let's hand send it. 35. I wish I had that advanced <laughs> stage oh, right now. You're absolutely right. 75? 75. And then you wow. have Russell Westbrook at 60, 60, 62, 62 around there. I don't know. That's crazy, bro. But Russell Westbrook, wow. Man. And his career high was, uh, his average career is 81. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, Russell Westbrook. It's something, something's weird about him just because obviously the free throw. He's averaging 21 points, which I like that. Yeah, yeah. Just because he's giving a lot more opportunity to other guys to show up. Exactly. And if Paul George is averaging more points than him, he's 25, I think. Yeah. I really like this Westbrook just because his team is getting better. Stephen Adams is averaging more points. They have the um, Dennis, Dennis Schumann. Yeah, yeah. Coming in and he's been balling. They have a lot. They have a lot of players out there. You know, just switching, stopping that conversation from OKC and the whole, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Russell Westbrook. That, that's crazy. But the Lakers. Yeah. Pretty damn good. They're, they're 18 and 12. They're fourth, right? Fourth place. Fourth place. Yeah, yeah. Pretty damn good. I mean, coming uh, last year's season with uh, Lakers, we had a lot of new players. LeBron coming in, uh, fourth place. They're looking good. Definitely. Well, definitely. They're still in need of a shooter. Bradley Beal. Huh? I said Bradley Beal. That's what I mean. Like huge. But yeah. I don't think they'll get Bradley Beal just because they were gonna, they're going to have to trade Lonzo Ball for like all his parts. I like Lonzo. I'm starting to like him. Okay. I hated the guy. Mm -hmm. right? But the reason why I like him is because that man is playing. He's playing with that man. Exactly. So, so I feel like you already have that 
they're very similar in terms of point guards, and you already have a better point guard, so I'd rather stick with Rondo and get yeah, a shooter. Rondo and, oh, I can't wait to see that Rondo and LeBron in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be fun. But before we get off too far, I mean, let's talk about LeBron and D-Wade's last game, the last dance or whatever. Well, I call it's, it. it's sad. Yeah, it definitely 16 is. 16 years, mm -hmm. and anyway, it's, it's really sad. I wanted, I mean, not me, everybody wanted to see Wade Wade go for until LeBron left. Exactly. Both of them together just so they can enter the Hall of Fame together. Obviously, he wants to stay in the game, but his knees. His knees, yeah. I mean, he's been bad since, like, the heat days with LeBron. Exactly. You know? So it's just, it was time to give it up. Now he wants to spend time with his uh, son. You want to start a uh, freshman high school. It's a new born baby. God bless him. God bless his family. It's sad to see that one last dance. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like we were watching Kobe's last game. Uh -huh. That was yeah. sad. <laughs> Two years ago already. Yeah, three. yeah. Wasn't it three? three but years. you know what? I want to say something else. Like, I feel like that speaks volume on LeBron. Because, I mean, LeBron James, he's the same. He's the thing. You're, you're younger than D Wade. But he's, he's showing no signs of like slowing down. Like he's still playing like he's 25, 26, 27. I don't know what that It's is. very impressive. Eating, drinking. Yeah, it's yeah. Because I mean, you look at Carmelo Anthony, you can tell that he's just not the same player. D Wade, obviously, he's injury, but man, like I've never seen an athlete, besides like, you know, Floyd Mayweather, like that, as he ages, like you don't see the the deterioration or you know, whatever you want to call it. Jordan is still the greatest of all time. You know, that, 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 that's going to be another video, that's going to be a very long video, it's coming soon, there's going to be like four of us talking about that, because I feel like there's an argument to be made for LeBron, not that I'm saying that he's better, but I feel like sometimes, you know, you have two ends, either yes he's a GOAT, or he's nowhere near a GOAT, I feel like it's literally like this. I, I want to say this. Besides, I mean, like, playoffs is Because like, if LeBron wins this year, yeah. with the Lakers, okay. he surprised Jordan, he won't. LeBron is a go. You say that? If, that is if, insane. The, what if this guy is saying that? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Because it, it, it'd be crazy if he wins the finals. He gets past the Warriors. On both sides. He, I mean, he gets championships on both sides. And it's, it's, it's crazy. If he wins the title this year, he passes Jordan. And this is me because you know we got to <laughs> always picking Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But it's just a point where you have to respect the ball game. I used to hate the ball with passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just to the point like I'm, I'm, I'm living like I'm seeing this now. It's not yeah, like, yeah. You know, I, I never got to see Jordan, but Jordan's number are ridiculous. Exactly. But I just, I just had to stop hating and respect the ball game. What mm -hmm. he's doing on and off the court with his whole school, with his son, with his daughter, with his family. Yeah, yeah. And it's just. I can't, I can't hate that man. Exactly, you so really can. Just, He's a great man off the court. So it's just, I just have to respect him. I love this game of basketball, so mm -hmm. for the way he plays and the way he gives that energy. Um, yeah, Kevin Durant, what he's been saying with LeBron is unfair. Mm -hmm. He wants that attention. That, that's what Kevin Durant loves. <laughs> Kevin Durant, ever since he left OKC, that's all he wants. Attention. LeBron, if he wins this year, he's a go. Yeah, he had. Like, he passed his story, and I'm sorry. Just because of the fact that he moved to the East, to yeah. the West, Lakers, a lottery team. Yeah. And winning a championship, beating Golden State with the, the Marcus Cousins, because by the time they will have. Yeah, he's, he's going to play like in the next few weeks, I think. Exactly. So, it's really interesting. It's interesting to see, but I think he will pass Jordan. Coming from me, yeah, yeah. everybody knows this is a surprise. Yeah, definitely. I'm surprised. When <laughs> what? So I know you saw the game, you know, the Raptors versus Warriors. The Raptors won without Kawhi Leonard, and only that. I feel like, no, I feel like. Yeah. But they did go over to the Raptors. They went two and all. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't remember. Did Kyle Lowry play for the first game? Was it both? I don't remember. I think it was. The last game he did play. I know the second game Kawhi played. And if we was to see that Kyle Lowry, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But that's you just said if we see it. So basically, what I want to say is, do you believe that in a seven-game series, it will play out like that? In a video game, yes. <laughs> in a video game, still have, I still have the Celtics going gotcha. to the finals. Okay, yeah, I got you. <laughs> you were trying to get away, you know, yeah, yeah. putting my team out, but you know, yeah. I'm not gonna let that happen. <laughs> but I do want to say this: if 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 Kyle Lowry performs. Yeah. Every day, basically, in April, May, 
Mm -hmm. The way he performed in Golden State, nobody's talking about this. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you know, Curry doesn't show for his team in the playoffs yeah, either, exactly. so. Yeah, thanks. Right. <laughs> wow. Do you see the Raptors making the finals? Man, honestly, I mean, we just touched on it. I honestly, I don't see them making the finals just because, you know, like I mentioned, Kyle Lowry has not showed up in the playoffs in the last three years. And, I mean, Kawhi Leonard by himself can't beat the Celtics. And the fact that, you know, they were in the, they were deep in the playoffs last year. Jason Tim's only 20 years old. Um, you know, like I said, you got Coach of the Year. You got Kyrie Irving, who's an MVP, and he's a monster in the playoffs. Yeah, just, you know. Wait, oh, that's why I wanted him last year. I think we would have had him last year more. It would have been us in the Warriors. Definitely. We the Celtics and the Warriors. Definitely, definitely. That's facts. But I, know, I think we want to call it a, a day night. Yes, here sir. And end this video. Thank you guys for watching. To to watching this video. Sorry we've been on play, but yeah, it's been a few weeks. We're back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead and drop a comment. You know, you guys never do, but whatever. Comment, <laughs> and, uh, have fun with us. Yeah. yeah. Just go with the flow. Comment. We will respond. I follow our page on Let's Be Real 23 as well. Follow our Instagram, Young Team 9. Follow his page. It's going to be, what is it? So simple. Yeah, so uh, this first. is Andres and Alex signing off.